together. Who forgiveth all my iniquities. Who healed all my diseases. Who forgiveth all my iniquities. Who healed all my diseases. It means my sins are forgiven. And my body is healed. My sins are forgiven. And my body is healed. Say that with me. Say my sins are forgiven. My body is healed. Say my sins are forgiven. My body is healed. My sins are forgiven. My body is healed. My sins are forgiven. My body is healed. Who redeemed thy life from destruction. Say my life is redeemed from destruction. Listen, there is a way that righteous men should not die. I insist. A righteous man should not die in violent accident. Good news, my sister. Good news, my brother. Himself, Jesus himself, took our infirmities and carried our diseases. It means there are no infirmity or diseases for us to carry in our body. The Bible will now ask you, so whose report will you believe? If unbelievers have a form of diabolic thing they do, that a car will have accident and they will be found coming out from the bush unscratched, is my legal right that they are misusing. I want my property back. And I've taken back my property. No evil shall befall me. You see, don't be hearing me. Be making that confessions. Because my life is redeemed from destruction. And he grounded me with loving kindness and tender mercy. Unusual favor. Loving kindness. Men will go out of their way to favor me. Glory to God. Go back, go back to verse number three. Let's emphasize that verse number three is a healing service. Say, all my sins are forgiven and all diseases are healed. In the name of Jesus, it's unusual with me to be sick. It's usual to stay in divine health. Did you not hear what the Bible said? He said, I wish above all that you prosper and be in health. God's desire for me and for you is to prosper and be in hell. The Whose report will you believe? I choose to believe the report of the Lord. Where